Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, back with my review of DC Direct Blackest Night Series 1 Blue Lantern Saint Walker. Now this, of course, is fairly new. Um, he is the first member we've gotten of the Blue Lantern Corps, and the first member of the Blue Lantern Corps, period. The first inductee, that is. He comes with his lantern and his base. Let me check it all, check that bad boy out in the packaging. Onto the back of the box here where you have the rest of the characters in the wave, and down here each one has their little spiel, and down here it lists series 2, 3, and 4. Um, St. Walker says, Created on a distant paradise planet by exiled guardians, Ganthet and... Can't say that name. S-A-Y-D. Once again, not very great with pronunciation of these names. Each inductee of the Blue Lantern Corps discovers his own unique destiny and must decide for himself to become a champion of hope in the universe. St. Walker is the first being to choose to become a member of the Blue Lantern Corps. So... Um, actually, one of the this guy um didn't sell that well when I like I said I went to my comic shop and checked the days the the day this came out because I didn't get mine in the mail that day. Um, this guy wasn't selling that well. He's actually one I wanted after reading his origin story and tells of the corpse number one. Let's pull this bad boy out of the box. And here Saint Walker is out of the packaging. Now let's get a quick 360 of this guy. Um, for those of you who saw my um Red Lantern atrocious review, I complained about how he held the lantern. Um, unfortunately, St. Walker isn't much better. As you can see here, his lantern is constantly wobbling around in his hand, and basically their way of guaranteeing it stayed in is to make sure the finger and hands are really tightly closed, so that to get it out, you pretty much have to lift and pull. Um, let's zoom out here real quick. Um, and of course, this piece will snap off from the lantern very often. Um, it's not broke. You just pop it right back in, and it's fine. But still, um, I really think holding the lantern should have been a priority for these figures. Now, I'm going to set the lantern down and on to St. Walker. Um, once again, the head sculpt on these guys doesn't amaze me. It's okay. Um, it looks somewhat like he does in the comics. Um, the rest of the body, however, is fantastic. Of course, um, the paint detail is great. Of course, his head sculpt does have this kind of head tail thing going down, almost like a twilight. But... Of course, it is awesome. Um, his articulation, pulling him off the base, he rotates at the head, has um, some pretty free-moving arms, elbow joint. Um, of course, he has his ring, which actually, I think, no, nah, it has a little inscription on the ring, it looks like, but it doesn't look like it's exactly this logo. Um, base does have his Blue Lantern logo. Like I said, I really like that. Um, same for both arms. Moves at the legs. Knee joint. And the uh, same for both legs. So, um, a little difficult to get attached to the base. Um, you just have to apply an unusual amount of pressure to get him on there. So, let's put his lantern back in his hand. So, um, Blue Lantern Saint Walker. Once again, I'm um, one of the guys out of Wave 1 I actually really wanted. But, um, like I said before, didn't look, didn't look like he was selling that well. Um... Once again, DC Directs are usually meant to be pulled out of the package, posed and displayed, not played with. So, I do have some issues with the fact that um, his lantern is so loose in his hand, but that seems to be all the Blackest Night figures. Um, other than that, he's de his detail is nice. I wish there would have been a little more attention paid to his head sculpt. Um, his ring is at least visible on his hand, unlike some of the other figures, even though it looks like you can't really... It looks like his inscription is not on his ring, just something random. But Blue Lantern Saint Walker still serves my purpose. He's still going to look good in a display. Um, still though, a little more attention needed to be paid to this guy. I'm going to go seven out of ten, and this is J Train 997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.